What's up, y'all? In this video, we are once again going to go over the Schlage B160, B100 style deadbolt tailpiece replacements. Still a very common problem when you have these older Schlage style deadbolts where the key just starts spinning around in a circle. We've done a video on this, but it has been a while, so I figured I'd revamp the video. So most of you who watch the channel regularly may already have seen this type of video before, but if you're interested in it, I'll put the link up here in the corner. But what happens with the older B160 style Schlage deadbolts is you will walk up to it one day and probably had been getting hard to lock. You were having to rock the door back and forth. But what happens is you, you turn the key and it doesn't do anything, but just spins in a circle. So there are parts still available for that. I would highly recommend you check with your local locksmith, but we do offer them as well. So if you need parts and can't find anybody local with them, feel free to email us at the email that we're putting up here in the corner. And we're also at the same time gonna go over what happens when you go to take your deadbolt off the door and there are no screws or what looks like no screws. Now, before we get started with all of that, I do wanna go over the difference is how to recognize if you have the right deadbolt. These were stopped being made right around like late 90s. And when you take it off the door, this is what it's gonna look like. It's gonna be either this style with a solid body and a kind of a sharp conical shape and sometimes has a, a plate. You'll see that when we take these off. And the tailpiece is what breaks right here. So it goes in like that and actuates the deadbolt latch, but obviously to switch that part out, you have to get it off the door. There are two other, two or three other versions of residential Schlage. This style is the B360 style, and it has been discontinued as well, well and it has very distinct interior mechanisms. These parts really didn't break a whole lot. And of course the newest style, which most people are familiar with, is gonna be the B60 style, which is what is available. This one actually is a plus, this is a secure key. They were still making secure key when they introduced the B60 deadbolt. Prior to that, you might have seen the plus symbol on the 360. The plus symbol is a secure key, it's been discontinued. It's highly recommended that you just replace the whole deadbolt in either of these two cases. I do have another video on being able to tell the two, all the, the styles of deadbolts apart, but that is that. So really what we're focused back in on is the B160 style. Very popular lock from like the 60s to the late 90s. So we're gonna go move this over here, take these caps out in case you have this problem quickly. And uh, yeah. All right, with this particular one, as I mentioned, there are sometimes little cap pins in them. These are the devil pins and this is what it looks like. It's basically a little spline that is shoved into the head of the screw and the only way to get them out is to pry them out. Now hopefully if you look at your deadbolt you will see a lip somewhere around the edge of it and you know it really depends on if you're already replacing this bolt. Worst case scenario if these are really really hammered in and there is no seam to get in to be able to pry it out you can take a Dremel and, uh, you know, especially if you're replacing the bolt, you can take a Dremel and cut a slit right across the middle. And after you do that, you can just take a flat head and unscrew the screws. But if we were trying to salvage this guy, if it's ornate hardware or something like that, you want to try to save it, find where that lip is. And you can use a variety of small tipped screwdrivers. Uh, I'm going to get kind of this little tiny flat one here and I'm going to go in right where the core is and i'm going to get behind that lip as best i can now if it's really hammered in there sometimes you do have to press in the metal and i put it right here first because that's going to be your least obvious spot and tap in on it to get behind it see how i'm kind of levering it back and forth once you get enough of the lip on one side you can usually walk your screwdriver around being careful not to damage the lock just like that you will mark it up around there there's not a whole lot you can do about it depending on how badly it's stuck in there i'm going to go ahead and switch up because i've got a lip now to a little bit bigger screwdriver 
get me a little bit more leverage and I'm just gonna give it a twist. A twist, see how we're coming out. And I don't recommend putting these back in, so if it pops out and you lose it, that is perfectly okay. Again, I'm gonna go in from this side. I see a little, a little bit of, oh, nope, not enough of an area to get it. So let's do that same thing over here. I am pointing this out because it is fairly common for people to not know how to get these guys out. So there we go. Now that'll expose that screw, which is a Phillips head screw. And it also came with hex head screws. If you see a hex head, number one, it was a lot harder to get that out. Number two, it's a 332nd standard. So just unscrew it, but this one is Phillips head. So I do recommend when I take the locks off, I will wrap my hand around it like that. If you've, and I've got pretty small hands, so most people can accomplish that task. But if you have a little bit of trouble, you can always take some painter's tape and just wrap it around the deadbolt like that, just to kind of hold it into place while you unscrew it. All right, we're gonna hold that steady and then just unscrew both of those screws. And we will find what the problem is, why it is spinning around in circles, because one side is broken. Typically it is caused by you having to push the door or lift or pull the door. So almost always you probably need to move your strike plate, the thing that's in the frame that that goes into, it probably needs to go up or down. All right, we're gonna carefully remove this and we can see this side seems to be okay but i always recommend replacing both of them while you're doing it because if you replace one then the other side is going to break so i'm going to take it out you can take it out by angling it just like that so there it is we're going to turn it flat and then we're just going to have it in an angle and, and take it out just like that we're going to set that down come over here do peel this off we'll leave it there to reinstall it and we will see the problem, there's our guy right there. Broken part, supposed to have this on there. Now you might not see this, it might actually still be in there. So if you look down in there and you see that little, see that little dot, then you need to kind of dig it out or you can usually see that that's not supposed to be in there. So you gotta let's get that out, make sure it's not in there because when you put your new one in, it has to not be in there. So. Have this sticking out. If it's not already sticking out, you can take a flathead screwdriver and just flip it out just like that. Hold your deadbolt so that the schlag is up and the keyway is vertical. No key in it. We're gonna take our new part, again, that we do have available. If you can't find it, we're gonna angle, drop, and turn. You wanna make sure it turns smoothly. Now, when we get our stock in, we check every one of them, and we also check it right before it gets shipped. So uh, if you've ordered it or gotten it from somewhere else and it's a little grabby, make sure it's not because if it's not smoothly turning like this, you're gonna have trouble with it. And also if you hold the deadbolt and it's, and it's up a little bit or down a little bit, it's gotta be perfectly kind of straight there. So what we're gonna do there is turn it vertical, 12 o'clock, six o'clock, the two flats go into each other. So we're just gonna insert it in on the inside we want to look to see make sure yep it went in we're going to just take our finger and make sure this bolt is straight i would recommend taking a lubricant while you're here just give it a little squirt boop that that that's good for it it's not going to hurt anything i use houdini but you can use lps or any other uh good quality lubricant so again we're going to have trouble with this we want to make sure that the schlage is perfectly horizontal keyway is perfectly vertical and we'll just wrap this around just to hold it on and I kind of keep my hand on it there anyway but uh, all right so that we're gonna do the same thing on the inside do turns good we're gonna turn it vertical so when I put it together the two flats will be on each other have your deadbolt screws in your hand and looking at it from the side make sure it stays vertical you're looking at it through right here we're going to run it right up against the other flat and then push it on now you know it's going to be back right most likely if you see this see i've got it off center i need to kind of move it up right there because uh, it needs to go back square like it was if it's been working for years uh, i'm going to go ahead run lightly run this screw through 
and hope that it catches. If I push too hard on the screw without holding this, it's gonna push that tape right off. So uh, typically you do also kind of have to turn this a little bit. So as you're putting this screw in and you turn this, you'll, you'll feel it go drop in and then you can screw it down. Not fully tight, but tight enough to hold it. And then do it. So I'm gonna kind of rock this until I feel it go through. Go ahead and peel our tape off and maybe turn it just like this a little bit until I feel that screw drop into its hole. So just rock, rock, rock. Back and forth. You can put a key halfway in it. Don't bend your key by any means, but you can use your key to steady that, right? And I just felt it drop down, so we are in the hole. Tighten it down the rest of the way. Make sure it is perfectly centered here. I can use that outline and I'm gonna tighten them equally. Don't tighten one side and then the other. We wanna equally tighten. So tighten, 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 and then it is snug. So that should be, again, the Schlage, which is most likely on it, should be perfectly level. And the keyway should be perfectly up and down. Think of this as a clock. So that would be 12 o'clock and six o'clock. Put your key in, turn it turn it, make sure the bet fully engages when it comes out, and uh, make sure your key comes out. That's all there is to that. Make sure the other side works, and of course, at any point during this, you probably, probably could have just squirted a little lubricant in the keyway as well. So I hope that helps anybody that has that problem. Once again, we do have them if you can't find a local source for it, uh, but that's it on that. And once again, hopefully I won't have to do that video again any time in the near future. But if you have any questions or comments on this or any other Schlage locks, let us know in the comment section or by email if you need to order those and can't find them locally. Well, thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next video.